Just kind of getting there. Laura, thanks. Well, uh, internationally acclaimed medium, Suzanne Northrop is uh, back with us this morning, and we've got questions. Are there spirits in the Good Day studio? What's up with Cody and Tina? She is here this morning. <laughs> what's up with giving them? them? What's up with those <laughs> two? Like giving them a different private topic. reading. <laughs> We're very, very fortunate and lucky here to uh, have a reading from you, Suzanne Northrop. Okay. Who would you like to start with? I love your book, Everything Happens for a Reason. Well, then you should start with Tina, because she loves your book. Okay. We're going to start with Tina? Sure. Have I been told to do that? No, you do whatever you like. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have you ever had a session before? No. Okay, cool. So, just just real quick here. I get things really, really fast, all right? And and because it's television, you may have it taped, so you may play back, play back later if you don't catch it all, because mm -hmm. I do get things real quick. And if I get names of people and they're living, they're not going anywhere. It's all identification. Okay. Your mama still here? No. Well, she's standing next to you, and I know she's your mother because you look like her. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> you now, start making me cry already. No, 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 me okay. too. Uh. Bring out the the twin because now I have to tell you, has she been gone a while, Tina? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's shown me a while, but she's actually shown me longer than a while, which always indicates illness to me. Do you understand this? Now, tough woman. And you are definitely the apple, you know what I mean, Sanders? Very, very tough woman. I want to say when this happened to her, it was extremely difficult because she was so dignified, so dignified that the last thing she wanted was for her family to see who was. Was this some form of cancer by chance, may I ask? Yeah, because I, I, I have to know this is really strange. When you were standing on outside with, with the, you know, the little circle with the breast cancer thing, mm -hmm. it was interesting. I, I knew there was some connection. I didn't exactly know why, but now that you're sitting in front of me, it makes an awful lot of sense to me. So I, I don't know where you were in your life when she passed, but I, I would say you've made a lot of strides because there's a tremendous amount of respect that she's giving you. She says, this is my daughter, and I knew my daughter would always do really really well now I'm gonna ask you a question here she's making reference to daughter is she making reference to you just being her daughter or are you having a daughter as well please I have a daughter yes because I, I felt she wanted to make a reference an honor to her granddaughter now did she get to meet her no. I didn't gather because she said I brought her in and what a lot of people don't know is that when we make our transitions we bring in the, the children so she brought in this little girl and she said this little girl is a spitting of my daughter you know that expression she's a spitting of you so I don't know if that's good or bad Tina <laughs> <laughs> because she said you had like a, a nice streak. Now I have to ask you this, please. Her mom has passed as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, who lost the sister? Or say again? So who lost the sister? Did she lose a sister? Did her mom lose a sister? Well, she was a twin sister. Twin sister. But she died first. Okay. My mom died first, and then my aunt died. They're both coming together. They're both coming together. And it's interesting because when I when, when I was sitting here with you, I kept hearing twins, and I wasn't sure where I was hearing that, so I'm sure your mom was already here. It was really, really clear because the twin thing was a very big deal, and the passing of the twin for your aunt was a very, very big deal. So they were very tight. They were very, very tight. Now, you know, I, I always have to make this reference. I know we're in California, and I know we're near the water, but did they live either really, like, really near the water, or was the water significant? Did they come over water? There's a reason they're bringing it to me. They grew up in the Philippines. Okay, thank you. I, I was going to say, because I know water had to be a big deal. And then they came here. Mm -hmm. When they came here. And it's interesting because it looks like this is your mom's dad, unless I'm on your father's side. Somebody fished. Don't know about that. Okay, because there's somebody standing with a fishing pole. Okay. So that usually means it. And if I'm not on your mama's side, I'm on your daddy's side. Okay, he passed away when I was seven. Oh, that, that's why you wouldn't know about that. So there's a long, long distance. Okay, one of them or somebody connects you to the month of June is significant. It's either birth or passing, please. <laughs> okay. So th these are just all yeah. validations, my dear. This is her birthday in okay. June. So you see, and she says, you, you'd celebrate it every year. So, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Honey, never apologize because you know it's like connecting to somebody that we love that we haven't talked in a long, long time. And that's what it's about. And you know, and, and you know what? Every single person has experienced it in their life. And you know what? No, Everybody's sharing I this. I want with to you. tell you that you knew nothing of this. We just met. So <laughs> everything you're saying is true. Not only just met, like you sat down like two seconds before they talked about it. Right, yeah. right. Code, that's, I don't want to take up all your no, time. No, 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 let's, let's, let's let Tina recover a little no, bit, Cody. No, nothing. Never apologize. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Listen, Amazing. you're more than welcome. I miss her very, very much. I'm sure you do, my dear. I'm sure you do. I have no doubt about it. Yes. How do you, how does that work? How does it, how do you, you're going down a line. Yeah, it's, and that's I plug in the club. But I, uh, I have one last thing I have to oh, ask you this, please. No, don't go anywhere. And I don't know why I want to say this. Is Christmas a big deal for some reason? Uh, it's normal holiday. Okay. I don't know why she's pointing to me December. So December had to be significant for some reason. I know her birthday was in June. Yes. But she keeps telling me December is a big deal. 
That's my daughter's birthday. That's what two it is. days after Christmas. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> no, it is. I just she she had one last plug. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so do, do you have to fill in? I mean, like you're seeing these things. Yeah. Like you said, you needed to go back. Would that bother you later if you didn't get that out? Um, it wouldn't bother me, uh -huh. but you know, I know when I'm not finished, I know there's a last minute, uh -huh. and it was like she wanted to give a double honor, obviously, to her granddaughter, which was a very big deal. So that, and you know, that's a specific. Uh -huh. So like I said, like it's either got to be Christmas or something else that's going on at that time. Right, right. And two days from Christmas is, is, is pretty clear. So she obviously really wants you to know how honored she is for this granddaughter. I mean, it's a really... Oh, she you know, she was partially named after her. Oh, no wonder the double honor is. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. That makes an awful lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. So there's yeah, an honor right. all the way around. All the way around. <laughs> yeah, and, and we like that. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. You're Thank very you welcome. So much. You're very welcome. Oh, now, God. just real quick here. Uh -huh. um, your mom is still here, Corey? Yes. Okay, is her daddy passed? Yes. Okay, he's coming through very strong. Uh -huh. Now, your mama had to be very connected to him from what I'm gathering. Yes. Yes. I don't know if she was literally a daddy's girl, but that's how I hear it. Oh, definitely. So I'm going to take that to be quite literal. Uh -huh. Now, do you know if he was either good with his hands or he had tools or something like that? He was a radio guy. Radio sales guy. guy. It's interesting, brother. yes, because he showed me boxes. Mm -hmm. So it's weird. So I don't know if, what that's connected to, but that's what I'm gathering. Now, do you know if he's the one that either had lung cancer or lung issues or something where I can't breathe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. smoking. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, because I smelt smoke with him, and I assumed that that was a combination of both of those things. Mm -hmm. Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. But his passing was a very big deal to her. Yes. Yes. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, because he said, I don't know if you were the first grandson or something like that, mm -hmm. but you were also an apple of the eye connected to him as well. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, did he pass before her mom, or is her mom still here? Uh, he passed before. Okay, because there's a distance in their passing, mm -hmm. a long, long distance mm -hmm. from what I'm gathering. Now, I don't know why here, but I don't know if this is tied in with him at the end with the cancer, but it looks like he either got really sick or very bedridden or something, because the way he stands, it shows to me there's a much more dignity after he's passed. Okay. Now, who got his watch? I don't know. It's passed down. Really? Yeah, you're not. You don't have a brother, do you? No. Okay. There's a. Then you. It must be your mom must still have it. Okay. Or so, somewhere because uh -huh. he's literally showing me the, the man has passed down. Now I also. It's interesting because I, I got this double with her. I'm hearing double sounds. When I hear double sounds, it means an honoring. It means a first or middle name passed down. So is your. Is there somebody connected to your grandfather passed down through your mom or where it is? Uh, I think it must be through my mom. Yeah. Your mom. Okay. Uh -huh. Because it, it, that's how we've given it to me. All right. Uh -huh. But your mom is still here. Yes. Yes. Is she not here? Like, I know in like Sacramento? Alabama. Alabama. I tell you what, we got to go to break. Okay. They're, they're killing us, but I want to keep talking to you. Okay. Uh, the book, Everything Happens for a Reason. Everywhere. So, so yeah, Alabama, I guess that takes care of it.